Hey, it's me again. Recently, I stumbled upon a forum that talks about how to get color information out of a texture in Unreal Engine in runtime. So basically, I have a texture and I want to know on which coordinate, which kind of color we are seeing and if there is a blueprint function for that. So the last couple of days, I tried to solve this problem and I think I found a solution. However, there are a couple of caveats to this. It is extremely inefficient and I would suggest if you really want to use it at runtime that you do not calculate it every single frame. But let's get into the solution. First of all, we need to change this texture to a render target. So just load in your texture, then make a material out of this texture. Just click on here and create a material. And then you open up the material. Right about now. And you set this material to not surface, but user interface. There you go. When you get this new user interface, right now the image is a bit squashed. No problem, we're gonna fix that later on because now that we have this material, what we need to do is create a new render target, right click, textures, render target, create a, create a render target. It's going to be a black screen. Open it up and it should be a square image for you. Just, just type in the dimensions that you wanna use. Usually it's going to be 1920 by 1080. However, if you want to use it more than once a second or so, as I'm saying, it is really, really inefficient. So just if it doesn't have to be this precise, go with something much slower. 356 to 240, it's 240p is right about enough for me. So once you have this render target, you can go ahead and create a blueprint that you set in the scene, for instance. And there is this node called draw material to render target. And you can call it either every frame or time it or just play it once. And it takes the material that you set to user interface, pixel canon, and paints it onto the render target, texture render target. So for me, it does it once when we start playing this game. The next node we have is read render target pixels. So if you know the exact location of what kind of pixel you want to have, for me, it's 1-1, one, one, which would be da, 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 blue, sort of a blue. It's not a 100% blue, but it's blue enough. Now, the, val the output value that you get is your color code, and I'm going to display it in a second right here and show you that everything is working. So on the coordinates, 1 and 1, which are going to be in my media files up here. As again, it's a bit squashed. This is a full HD image, but it's going be squashed down to a 240p image. Still, it's up here somewhere. Should be a blue on the left up here. We should see a lot of blue and uh, less of green and less of red. There you go. We got all of blue, a bit of red and nothing of green. So let's see if this actually works. And just changing the coordinates to something. There's a lot of reds down here. So if we go from zero, let's go to 10 pixels and 230 down here should be right around in here. 230 on the Y, compile, save. If you play now, there should be a lot of red and uh, not a lot of other colors. There you go, a lot of red and nothing of the other colors. By the way, this also works with video. So as you can see, this block in front of me is kind of blinking because I hooked it up to a media texture. If we go into a blueprint again, and we update all of this. There you go. And we update all of this in real time. Save, compile, everything's fine. Let's see what happens. There's a lot of red and it changes to green. There's a lot of green, it changes to blue. There's a lot of blue. If we look closely and you can see that the frame rate is already dropping if we are really sorting this thing out in real time. There's a little patch in the middle uh, in the texture. It is that's square center. That's why we're going to check if the system still works. It is a free 356 divided by two image and it's uh, 240 by two is 120. So I should not have clean colors because it's sort of a green yellowish, which means right now we should get, yes, there is our color, color value. We are reading exactly the color value of this pixel. Now it appears and then the value changes. 
I've mentioned it a couple of times, but Unreal itself already mentions it. This process is incredibly inefficient and slow operation. So use with caution, but that is sort of how you can read pixel information of an image with blueprints. I hope that I could point some of you into the right direction. Just a little extra tip. There is a node raw pixel area where you can put in an area and then you for each loop it and get the pixel information of every single element that is within this area. Again, use this one with caution. I crashed my computer a couple of times by putting in a too much of an area. All right, that's it for now. I hope I could help.